Today we are on Pankor Island. So it's located around two and a half hours drive from Kuala Lumpur. Or if you want to take the bus like us, it will take you five and a half hours. The bus stop everywhere and that's why it takes so long. So today we rent a small motorbike. It costs around 40 ringgit. So 40 ringgit is like eight dollars a day to rent a motorbike. And we're going to visit the island. Let's go. We just arrived at a Dutch fort that was built in the 17th century and used as a warehouse to store tin ore. And they also had a nine cannons here, which probably explained the circular windows in the wall of the fort. at the floating mosque and this mosque is uh, actually very very recent it was built in 2014 March 2014 but unfortunately we are not allowed inside because of the, the MCO so we will be able to show it to you only from the outside The Fooling Kong Temple. Sorry if I pronounce it wrong, I have no idea how to pronounce it. I tried to check online when the temple was built, I couldn't find it. So if you know, you can comment on the link below and let us know. It's a Taoist temple and it's following by the teaching of famous uh, philosopher Lao Tzu. So I don't know if you heard about the quote saying that it's journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. That's from him. And if you have time to spare on the Chinese temple, they also have like a mini, mini uh, great wall over here. So it takes like maybe 10, 15 minutes to go all around. is Patira Kaliaman Temple. It's an Indian temple that was built around 150 years ago for the goddess Kali Kaliaman to protect people from the deadly wave from the ocean. So as you may know, there is a lot and lot of different uh, gods in the Hindu religion. And this one over here, it's called uh, Morgan. And if you ever came to uh, Kuala Lumpur at Batu Cave, there is also the, the huge statue of, uh, of Morgan. So I just tried to speak from there, but apparently there is a wedding. So you're not going to be able to hear me because they're playing music. 
But I just wanted to inform you that uh, Murgan and Shiva had two kids. The first one was Ganesh. Ganesh is the one with the uh, elephant face. And Kaliaman, the goddess of this temple. Stop at the market for a while. Wife went to buy some anchovies. Penko is very, very famous for, for anchovies. And the smaller they are, the more expensive they are. Like a pack like this. How many grams is that? This one 200 grams. 200 grams for 13 ringgit 60. So it's a little bit more than 2 euro. And this one? 2 ringgit 50 for how many grams? 200 grams. 200 grams. Uh, it's super cheap as well. But personally, I hate anchovies. I really don't like it. But we just stopped at a turtle century and they have a little, little turtle over here. I don't know if you can see them very well on the video. And it costs only five ringgit for the for the entrance. So one interesting thing about the, the turtles is they come to the beach here in uh, Penko every two years and they release uh, around like uh, 600 uh, eggs on the on the beach. So they collect all the the eggs over here and they keep the turtle for three months. After three months, they will release uh, around 20 to, to, uh, to 30 uh, turtle, and only 50% of them will survive. So they have different uh, canvas where they, they keep the turtle. So in this area over there, they have turtle from two uh, weeks to three months. It's just by the earth. They have some turtle from um, one year old to uh, six years old and this turtle can live up to 150 years old so I will die before the turtle <laughs> But now I'm left with a empty heart No making amends No waking up beside you And holding